It's everywhere. Ooh. Right. Give me the toy. Child. Yeah. How may I assist you? Went to Undvik a while ago. Found these. Well, goose kick me. These look like the real thing. Because they are. Look at the markings. Authentic. How did you get them? Wasn't easy, so I'm hoping for a good price on that armor of mine. Harman Ep Grunikan, Lieutenant General of the Second Mounted Army. Welcome to our humble establishment. A true honor to host one of such renown. I've heard the General's a connoisseur and collector of armor. This is true, and they call you a master of the craft. All too kind, sir, truly. I mean, I'm just... I need a suit of armor, heavy, able to withstand piercing projectiles. Piercing projectiles? Oh, bolts, you mean? Mm, that ain't easy. Needs a special alloy, tempering. The new tools. We can do it. Stoke the fire, I'll ready the rest. Bold, your worker. You allow her much. Uh, you know how it is, General. Uh, good helps are to come by. Uh, we should go outside. There's business to discuss. It's always the same. I've had enough. Enough? They treat me like I'm nobody. The menial labor. Truth is, the Nilfgaardian, the one Fergus is kissing up to, I'll have to craft his armor. Yours too, for that matter. Hmm. So what's Fergus do? Horseshoes, nails, not much else he can do, seeing as he cocks up simple bungs. But in the end, they call him Master. No one'd ever think I could be a skilled armorer, a human and a woman to boot. A dwarven blacksmith. Oh, that's another story. If that's the case, stand your ground. Don't let him treat you like this. I won't. Not anymore. He can craft the Nilf Guardian's armor himself. I'll make another suit, and we'll see which one's better. I need but one thing I can't get on my own. Would you help me? Depends what it is. To finish the armor, I'll need to harden it, quench it in a bath. Oil's what we usually use, but I want to use acid. Hmm. Kiki Moors and Arch Griffins spit acid. Arch Griffins? Draconic Griffins, you mean? Baron's men came by a few days back, said they'd seen one north of Crow's Perch. It had killed some folk out there. Bound to be a notice posted for the Griffin anyway. Could kill two beasts with one stone. Fine, I'll see what I can do. Bring me the acid, and I'll prove I'm better than Fergus. And I'll craft armor for you, lots of it. The kind no other armorer can.
Whoa! A hand. That's it. Arch Griffin's had a veritable feast. Arch Griffin Feather. Must have lost it when taking off. Hopefully its nest is nearby. Not bad. Faster. Need a swift kick in the ass. Would you take pity? Why is your hair so grey, darling? If I ever have a son, I'll name him. Right, give me the coin. Tails, we clean the shit out of today. Awful. You're back. So, got the acid? Mm-hmm. Use it carefully. It's about as caustic as things come. I know. It's burned many a man where I come from. Armor's ready. Now for the last touch. We'll soon see who's better. 
Fergus or me. Geralt, it's done. Looks very professional. Welcome, General. Armor's all ready. Came out splendid, if I do say so myself. Rather coarse. I trust the appearance does not reflect the quality. General, I've also made a suit, if you please. What is the meaning of this? Exactly what it looks like. Joanna crafted a suit of armor for you, General, to prove she's the superior armorer. For God's sake, Joanna! What do you think you're doing? Tamaria remains a wild land, it seems. Insubordination of this kind is not something we Nilfgaardians allow. If I may, General, I am Fergus's subordinate in appearance alone. It's what we agreed, as few would ever believe a woman to be a better armorer than a dwarf. You are right. I, for one, do not think it possible. But you are confident in your abilities. Let us put them to the test. Not on dummies. In live combat. Oh, quite a crowd. You there. Put on this armor. Uh, I'm just here to show me yours. Mine is not a request. General, I crafted this armor for a man. It can't fit me properly. Then find another to wear it. Geralt, will you help? Fine. Hope I won't regret this. Don your armor, both. I will await outside. Bloody hell. I just came here to show me yours. Does this look to you like armor that stops bolts? Compensate the man. Now, let us see what this other suit is worth. You, white one, what's your business? Bloody Baron know you're here? Gonna live? Ah, oh, I... But this armor's rubbish. Stan. I wish to see the armor. Not even a dent. I am not easily impressed, but I must admit you have succeeded, my dear. Where to, dwarf? You must hear this. The forge is now Miss Joanna's. She will also assume all Nilfgaardian army requisitions. Is that clear? I... As day. Your pay for the armor. I will send a man to collect it. I'll be going to my things. Just get my things. Wait. We needn't part ways, Fergus. You've been a good helper. We could go on that way. But without the lie. Hmm. We did make quite the pair. Well then, go stoke the fire. We've got a customer. He needs armor fit for a witcher. You weren't certain the armor would protect you. Admit it. Master craftsmanship something I trust in, something I strive for myself. Wouldn't have asked for legendary tools from Undvik and Archgriffin Acid if you didn't know what you were doing. Thank you for trusting me. Give us a few days and your armor will be ready. Come on, let me help you get out of that.
bothering us poor folk. Geralt, good of you to come by. What can I do for you? My armor coming along all right? It's ready. I've reinforced the joints and bathed it in acid, as my clan's tradition demands. Thanks. How much do I owe you? Oh, please. I'd not be here if it weren't for you. It's a gift, in thanks for what you did. Take it, and may it serve you well. Thanks. And you take care. <laughs>